give us uh, a description of some of the main issues and symptoms that you had prior to coming to our office and how life was like back then? Yeah, sure. Um, life was very difficult. There was three main things that were going on. It was a combination of depression, anxiety, and uh, extreme OCD. Um, Anxiety was what I had started off with as a kid um, and through my life. Um, it, it was from social anxiety to anxiety over worrying about the, ruminating about the future and the past, um, extremely anxious around large groups of people, different themes, whether it was fear of hurting others or fear of hurting myself and things like that, constant rumination over thoughts yeah. like those. Yeah. And then the anxiety spilled into now being anxious not about not only the things I was previously anxious about but now I'm anxious about having OCD mm -hmm. to the point that these things were taking over my life mm -hmm. making it difficult to live and basically becoming dis a dysfunctional person right. a person who can no, no longer function yeah. on their own without any assistance or help mm -hmm. for one it, it it very much disabled the kinds of relationships I could have Absolutely. Um, even what we're doing now, sitting down and having this conversation with you, being aware that I'm being filmed in something like that would not have been possible previously mm -hmm. because I would have felt anxiety yeah. thinking about how many people are going to see yeah. this. Yeah. Anytime I was around my daughter, I, I couldn't be fully present. I was thinking about these OCD thoughts and feeling afraid, feeling terrified, and not being able to really be present or connect with the person that was next to me, whether it was my daughter, my, mo my mother, my father. Tell us about now your experience with our treatment, namely the TMS, transcranial magnetic stimulation and neurofeedback. Mm -hmm. Tell us your experience with that and now how life has changed after the treatment. Well, the first part is just the experience in the office itself. It's, uh, re it's very refreshing in comparison to anything else I've experienced prior. Um, the moment I got here, I felt like I was treated like almost like a family member, like I, like someone was coming in and like we we want to care for you, we want to take care of you. So that was one of the most refreshing experiences was finally being treated as if I mattered as an individual, that my symptoms mattered. But I was more than symptoms. I was not just a bag of a uh, hodgepodge of symptoms. I was a person, and my life mattered. Getting back to reality and getting back to a functional state mattered to everyone around here. Um, and then as far as the, the treatment goes, the treatment is extremely simple, which is great because it's not, there's not much I have to do. Um, it's very easy. It's very effortless. It does not hurt. It's not frightening in any shape or form. It's, in fact, you guys make it very comfortable. You guys allow me to watch TV while I'm doing treatment. As far as TMS goes, I'm allowed to watch TV. I'm allowed to sit there. I can be on my phone. I can do whatever I want. And an hour goes by when I don't even realize it. Can you give us some of the highlights of your life now compared to what you described before? Yeah. I can't even... It, it's hard to even break down because it's amazing, to, to be frank. It's miraculous. Uh, before I got here, I, I, I was on my last leg. My life has turned a complete 180. Every single thing that we just described earlier has changed for the better. My anxiety has reduced to an incredible amount, to an incredible degree. I don't really feel anxious. And even when I do feel anxious, it, I, it's a normal amount of anxiety surrounding things that you should normally be anxious about. And I'm aware that I should be anxious about these things and that it's manageable. And I don't even like the term manageable because it's it's not so much that it's manageable as much as it is that it's normal, really. I feel normal for the first time. And I don't think I ever felt normal even as a child. So I'm wow. better off now than I even was, not just before I got here, yeah. but much better before that, um, my OCD is almost gone. Mm -hmm. My anxiety is practically non-existent and my depression that had basically kept me bedridden for about two years, mm -hmm. where all I would do was sit in a chair or sleep in a bed and stare into mm -hmm. space and wonder, mm -hmm. am I gonna get to do at least one thing on my that I want to do today? It would never happen. And now I, I feel that there is nothing 
keeping me from doing anything I want to do. Excellent. One of the main things that's been great for me is executive function. I think we've talked about that before, where if I decide I want to do something, there there's very little in my mind, there's no, very, there's no chatter saying I can't. And so now anything I want to do, I will do and I can do. Um, how long did it take for you to feel these changes? How far into the treatment did you start to notice changes? It was instant. Mm -hmm. um, it was obvious the change, but it was very instant. The first week I was already different than I was very upon coming in. Right. I'm doing everything I didn't do, which is for one, I'm waking up every single day and I'm doing all, taking care of myself and just the basic things some people take don't, we take uh, for granted sometimes. I'm cleaning myself, you know, changing into nice clothes, um, but I'm playing music again. I, I, I play my guitar. I sing a lot now. I play basketball whenever I get the chance to. So I'm doing a lot of the hobbies yeah, that felt were, were lost to me. Awesome. And now I'm planning on taking the, the help that was given to me, help so that I could now begin to, I'm contemplating a life where I bring it back and I give back to others. And now I, I become one of the helpers and someone that can heal other people. So I'm thinking about, I don't know where that will, what path or what avenue that will be, but I know that it will be along the lines of helping people like myself and like the people that you help. I, I wanted to say thank you for giving me the opportunity to have this platform to be able to give back because I think this means a lot to me to be able to do, as you said, um, help other people have the opportunity to see what it looks like and to otherwise see a treatment that they didn't think was here or didn't exist prior to having seen this.